Am I supposed to shake this up first? Holy crap, I did it. One take. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Skip Zula Fox, out here in the beautiful Boise National Forest getting weird. And you know, I thought today we would celebrate because we've made it. We've made it. You know, starting this channel a week ago, I never thought I'd get to this point. But you know, we, we finally made it. 10 subscribers. Oh my gosh. I mean, I know I'm a huge YouTube star now, but you know, I'm going to try and stay humble and think of the little guy and keep trying to answer comments, but it's going to be hard with all this newfound fame that I have, you know, my whole 10 subscribers. So yeah, I don't know. That's just a huge accomplishment. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to try and open this here bottle of champagne with this here recurve bow. I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try our best because that's what we do here to the Fox Outdoors. Let's do it. Let's pop some bottles. The bow I'll be using today is made by Wing Archery, a division of Head Ski Company. She's an older but a gooder bow. She draws 49 pounds at a 28, 29 inch draw. I believe my draw is about 30 to 31 though because I got these big crazy noodle arms. So, we might be drawing a little bit more than 49 pounds if you know what I mean. There's specs. So we'll be using a blunt chip for this as I hope I can just knock the cork right out of it without doing any real damage. But we shall see. Before we go about popping bottles, let's go over some archery tips for you new people out there. Okay, so you wanna shoot a traditional bow, right? First off, you're gonna need a bow, pretty obvious if you ask me. Secondly, you probably want one of these bad boys. It's called an arm guard. And what it does is it keeps that string from slapping you in the wrist when you shoot with poor form. And you know what? It hurts. It hurts bad. Kind of like when you tell a joke in a large group of people and no one hears you except for that one person. Then they have to go, I heard you. And then you have to explain to the whole group the joke again. So you have to tell it a second time and the first person doesn't laugh. But the rest of people are kind of just like, oh, yeah, I guess that was funny. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> the second thing you want to have is one of these. A leather glove for your string hand. Because the string also hurts your sensitive little fingers. You know, I was going to want some arrows and a general idea of what you're doing, unlike me. Okay, let's take a practice shot. First, take our bow. Take our arrow, place it on the arrow rest. Hold it with a finger or two. Find your knock position. Slide the arrow forward. We're gonna knock that just below our knocking point there. I prefer the three under style when shooting. Take aim, stiffen that front arm. You want a good solid stance. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull back with your back muscles and your shoulder rather than your box hip. Get to where you're holding it, find your anchor point, aim, pull back some proper back tension, and release naturally. You wanna keep things loose. You want bone on bone contact all through this arm, your shoulder, and your other shoulder when you get back to full draw. You want to have, see this forearm holding the bowstring is nice and loose. Pull with that back tension, kind of like you're pushing back with your elbow until the shot breaks and you release. Nailed it. As you can see here, there's a large backstop in case I completely missed the bottle, an archery target to stop the arrow, and a rather large tarp in case I were to hit the bottle making it shatter because we don't want to leave glass in the woods that's terrible so what we've got here is a lovely champagne bottle supported by a couple sticks so that hopefully i can just pop that cork right off of there we'll be champagne pouring by tomorrow i need a cup you need a degree for this or something enough with the chit chat let's get to the champagne popping
Okay, I've got the GoPro set up over there. I could take some practice shots, but what's the fun in that? I'm just gonna go ahead and do this puppy. Let's see if we can pop this bottle open, eh? We better set the man name from stun to kill. That's better. Definitely hit the bottle, but nothing happened. <laughs> well, the good news is I hit it. The bad news is I went right through my freaking blunt tip. Eesh. So, okay. I guess field point it is. Doing it live. Yeah, we'll be making this shot from a little bit further back. I'm kind of nervous. Woo. Hey. A little high. Take three. Ah, high again. I'm kind of afraid to hit it. Try number four. Ah, oh, so close. Okay. Holy crap, I did it. Let's go get a look at this. I think I actually managed. Oh, we just like annihilated the cork. But it didn't actually come off. Well, that's a disappointment. Holy crap, look at that. All right. I'd call that a win. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to take the tomahawk to it. Bummer. You know what? I'm out here in the beautiful Boise National Forest. I actually hit the cork of the champagne bottle. And I've got 10 subscribers. I'm gonna call this a win. Subscribers is for you. Really? God, worst champagne ever. Woo! That burns. Feels good. Okay, now to find this pesky champagne cork because leave no trace. No trace left. Cook's champagne. Bama. I just want to say thank you all for watching. It's been wonderful. We are gonna get some actual bushcraft using knives and fire and cooking and bow shooting and things like that. A little more serious note here soon, once I can get some videos planned out, get in the woods and shoot them. And I look forward to sharing that information and topics with you. Zula Fox out. Zula Fox! <laughs> <laughs>